We need to get the whole house painted at some point. So sure. I don't know that we've figured out colors or anything. Okay. So what's my, I mean, there's some areas that are a real mess, right? Um, it's it's standard three inch tongue and groove, mm -hmm. and and we can do a repair there. Okay. Um, let me make sure that I get the the correct width. And uh, see, I set it right on my my three, and then and that's all right. That's right on my six. So that's right at three inches, and. Um, do you have any other spots? It's just around. We found one up front, and I'd like to get some caulk in there so it doesn't become a spot. And actually, he's starting to get a little soft on the top side. I don't want to poke him too much. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a difference between an ugly board that really needs paint and a rotted board. Right. And I'm going to tell you, if you look at that guy from the edge, you're going to see a bit of an angle because he's not supported correctly on the left yeah, side. Right. Now, whether that means you're going to say, Lee, I want him supported correctly, so we'll run a band board down there that will help. And we could easily do that is come into the side of him and, and under underneath. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he's bearing on that or not. I wouldn't think so because I can move him. Mm -hmm. But... Um, if that little bit of an angle bugs you, we can help that mm -hmm. without doing major surgery. Let me get a length. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 21. That's about, let's start three feet in so we kind of count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roughly another 21. And uh, I need this notch. So we'll start at one, two, three, four, five, and 15. We'll start at one, two, three, four, and 12. Going that way. And, uh, okay. Uh, I got your general measurements. Are you thinking about maybe um, kind of running a sander over that i'd like okay. to maybe start with a pressure clean whether okay. we do you know the whole thing or just just the uh just the porch and uh, i'd like to use light to medium pressure so we don't damage anything it's easy to get overzealous with pressure washers and um the thing i'd like to do is if it's going to peel like this guy mm -hmm. and um we want it off right. and it's a good thing i see white behind that guy because that increases the probability that there might have been primer used oh okay and um what that's going to do is dramatically increase the life of the paint but um some of this is failing like that guy and you can say it's not blue on both sides so uh they did a good job with that and um if it can peel let's make it peel if it can't let's leave it alone because it's sticking well um we'll apply a, uh, an appropriate flooring porch paint uh, color of your choosing okay and we like to show your product they tend to stand the test of time they do have some lifetime warranty products although I'm not really sure I buy it quite yet I'm testing them on my house we're uh, about seven years in they look good okay <laughs> so I, I can say that mm -hmm. um, so you're definitely you're inclined to sand it away and and paint it over and do repairs rather than replace the whole flooring That's i wouldn't it's too expensive time. yeah okay it's drastically expensive yeah but and but what if, if we hadn't so one problem is that we mm. haven't really we don't know if we're going to modify the colors of the house so yeah, i'm not sure, sure what we'll know to choose for. Um, is there a way to keep it for well i grew up in charleston and porch floors are gray Every porch floor in Charleston, I think, is just that standard gray, which uh -huh. is not applicable here with your situation being mm -hmm. not gray. <laughs> but I, I, I will, I will gladly paint it really any color you choose, and 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 we will wait until you find your color set. Mm -hmm. If that is a month or a year or whatever it is, we will do that. But the thing I, I, I want to give you a job that stands the test of time mm -hmm. and even this area that's a really pristine board to be of the age it is, mm -hmm. I want that rough. And I don't mean 80 grit sanded aggressive rough, but like 120 so that what we put on there is going to stick well. Mm -hmm. So that you get another 20 years on your paint, mm -hmm. if possible. 
so but it all kind of uh needs to, like we need to choose a color before you get going or is it can you do repairs and i'd like to that? have the color because that way we can i'd rather paint a clean porch yeah and if there was something that was 9-11 important to do that if we don't do this immediately then we see the potential of structural failure where someone could get hurt we'll immediately jump in and get it primed to get something on it mm -hmm. but i don't see that I mean, they're, they're minor repairs. Right. There's a little caulk point. Bobby found a spot in the front. You know about this. And, and in all honesty, that'll go a year. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't, but it can. Okay. Well, do you have a reference for a house painter? We, we can do it. You can paint this? Yeah, Craftsman has a painting. Is that right? A painting team, yeah, absolutely. I guess we need to um, get an estimate on that too. Is sure. that you, or is that a different team okay. that comes yeah. out? Well, I've got I've got a couple gentlemen to work with us, and okay. I'd like to two heads kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll look, and we see lots and lots of different things. And a lot of the questions we're going to ask is that you've got, I mean, this isn't a house paint; it's artistry, and so much of this. <laughs> And I, oh, you're gonna go back with one color of pickets. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it would be hard for me to paint this house for so many reasons. I mean, the siding, yes, the trim, the doors, but to come back in so many of these places, it, in my mind, if you were asking me, I would say that it doesn't need painting from any perspective that I can see because I don't see an oxidized layer meaning there's no white here. I've got brilliant color everywhere I look. Hmm. And um, I don't see chipping, flaking, there's no rotted wood. And, um, but I'm talking about spindles and rails and columns and top side. Now the floor's a different story. Right. Um, <clears throat> that, I mean, uh, I would tell you I have, I yeah, we can, we can make a case for other things. And there is some chipping. Um, I, on the other side, I, I saw some paint flake and separation such that um, it looked like it may not have been primed on some things. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, 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 a rookie repair. Because when we repair things, those bottom pieces of trim board, they fail a lot. Yeah. We do a bunch of them, and the way we do it is that the first thing we would have shimmed behind that so that you don't have a ledge. Right. Right. And then after we do that, we would like to bondo it so you don't have a seam. Right. But you see how that's kind of turning a little white yes. in the oxidized layer and maybe a little bit of this too. Right. And we can make a case for some things. Um, you got a little bit of flake in here. Yeah, and all this. Sure. Right. So you're not really looking at this and saying the whole house needs paint? Um, well, we're going to start poking around and, and, and looking and seeing that that there's some things here that all in all, one thing you see is the house has been well taken care of. I would agree. Because it could be a whole lot of work. Okay, my advice here is um, the perimeter band, touch up the corner because you can't have holes. Let's catch the repair points. Uh, let's clean it with a pressure cleaner on. I mean, when you, once you're spraying, you can spray um, everything. It'll it'll improve it. Um, and do the floor only. Um, one of the things I would counsel you doing is cutting your your shrub rack about 12 inches to 18 inches away, because the wind it would slap, and over time it, it wears both both the plants as well as that post. And um, things need air. The more air you can give it, the longer you can get um, life out of the paint. Mm -hmm. um, but but we, we do, we do see some points here. Um, the more you look, the more you're gonna see in some flake and paint. And, um, but I tell you that soffit, fascia, um, there's some bubbles in the purple. Do you see them on the right side, the left side? I don't know why they've got bubbles. But um, but I would touch those up. I wouldn't paint them. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what color is that. Could you help me? 
with that band. It's above the white and below the purple. But um, there's some spots there that I would be inclined to sand and get that a coat of paint. I'm assuming you go back with the same colors. And um, I mean, this. So we're thinking if we had to, if we were needing to repaint the whole house, we were thinking of switching up the color scheme. But if, sure. if you're arguing we could get away with touch up, then we. Do you know when it was painted last? That would help the, the, the formulas. But um, that might be a homework assignment that you can just email to me. Yeah. This this is a study, right? And, and and we'll we'll engage in this for a little while so we give you a good answer. Okay. And I really do want to give you a good answer, Bobby. Let's take a peek and just kind of walk around. Um, this is uh, you know, obviously it's, it's it looks like a shellac on this door. And and I would say that 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 this is. This is getting to be urgent and important. To protect that door? Um, yeah. I would, that's a beautiful old door. Mm -hmm. They don't make them like that anymore, ever. And I would, I would put a very high priority on that. Mm -hmm. um, and you just mean a clear protection? Really anything you want. There's an awful lot of colors you can go with, but um, mm -hmm. you know, this is gonna be a labor of love because of the ornamental perimeters. Mm -hmm. And, um, but uh, yeah. I want to see top side as much as I can. Um, see, the thing I'm, I'm looking at here is the intersection of the siding with the roof. It's an inch or so away, which is um, adhering to a code provision that requires that to be there. It looks like because there's no water in the house, it's appropriately flashed. There looks like there's some kind of activity. 